This is Reed Mitchell. I will be reading a poem by Herman Melville entitled, A Utilitarian View of the Monitor's Fight. Uh, for me, that at least, this poem anticipates some of uh, Thomas Hardy's more famous poems. I think it's a little bit earlier. I believe it was written during the, Civil, the American Civil War years. So, Reed Mitchell reading Herman Melville, A Utilitarian View of the Monitor's Fight. Plain be the phrase, yep, apt the verse, more ponderous than nimble. For since grime wore here laid aside his orient pomp, t'would ill be fit over much to ply the rhyme's barbaric symbol. Hail to victory without the god of glory, zeal that needs no fans of banners, plain mechanic power plied cogently in war now placed. Where war belongs, among the trades and artisans. Yet this was battle and intense, beyond the strife of fleets heroic, diddlier, closer, calm, mid storm, no passion, all went by crank, pivot, and screw and calculations of caloric. Needless to dwell, the story's known. The ringing of those plates on plates still ringeth round the world. The clangor of that blacksmith's fray, the anvil din, resounds this message from the fates. War shall yet be and to the end. But war paint shows the streaks of weather. War yet shall be, but warriors are now but operatives. Wars made less grand than peace, and a singe runs through lace and feather. Thank you. Herman Melville, A Utilitarian View of the Monitor's Fight.